Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric. Welcome to RevMatch. So I'm here in front of the 240 today. I'm going to be checking out the seat situation because if you looked at one of my previous videos, which I'll link down here, which is all the things I'm going to be doing to the 240, I've decided to install some different seats. Right now it's got some bright replica seats. I don't think they're very safe to be honest. I'm looking at putting in some Sparco seats, but here's the issue. The floor pan in the car is flattened, and that means I can't use a standard seat mount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the seat out, we're gonna check it out, and see what kind of bracket or what kind of mount I need to get in there. So let's go take a look. Okay, this seat is pretty simple actually to get out. It's just got uh, four of these hex bolts in here. So I'm just gonna take out the seat. All right, got all the bolts out. Wow, what a piece of crap this is. <laughs> this thing weighs about uh, three pounds. This is unbelievable. Gonna pull out the carpeting, and let's see what kind of mounts we got going on here. Looks like we got four side mounts, but I need the seat to be movable back and forth because it's set way too far back for me. Um, I can barely reach the pedals. The, uh, the last guy is about six foot three. I'm about five nine. Here's the problem. These brackets are welded into the floorboards and I'm not really sure how to get a proper seat mount in because these things are welded in. Don't know who did this. It's a pretty fucking shitty job if you ask me. Um, I don't trust these things to stay put. Um, anyways, I'm not quite sure where the original seat mount brackets are. They seem to be, maybe they're underneath these things. I don't even know. So it's not possible to put an OEM seat in here. Um, at this point, I think I will need to fabricate something custom to get a good seat in here, and that's gonna be pretty damn expensive. I was not expecting to turn this video into a safety rant, but that's exactly what I'm gonna do because this has to be said, and there's a lot of people out there that don't have any respect for safety in their cars, especially modified cars. This car is actually extremely unsafe to drive, and I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, there is no lap belt in the car. There's no lap belts in the front seat. They were removed for some reason. I don't know why. All we've got is the shoulder belt. Number two, these seats are total garbage. Look at this shit. We've got the shitty ass fucking bride replica seat. Look at this shit. You know what this thing weighs? This thing weighs about seven pounds. All right, this is some kind of bride replica bullshit. Look at this. Look at this. Made of fucking fiberglass, this thing. This is the piece of shit. Look at the mounts on the side of this thing. Look at this. Do you think in an accident that this seat is not gonna completely explode? In an accident, this seat is gonna completely fall apart these mounts are not gonna stay in place. This thing is so flexible, um, it's gonna crack at the slightest little, little hit, basically. So, no lap belts, a fiberglass seat, which will shatter upon impact. How safe do you think this is? So guys, if you are modifying your cars, if you got a Miata, if you got a 240, I don't care what you've got, don't put in these fucking cheap shit replica seats. They're gonna fucking kill you in an accident. Don't do it, this is garbage. The next problem is this car has a lot of power but it will not stop because it's got the stock brakes. Also totally unsafe, but not as unsafe as that seat. All right, then to mount the seat, somebody welded in these cheap ass little brackets onto the floor, they're tack welded. I don't trust that these welds are gonna stay in place and certainly that seat is not gonna stay in place. And the problem is now that these brackets are set up specifically for this fucking piece of shit seat. Uh, they're not gonna work with anything else. The front bracket is about a quarter inch higher than the rear bracket and they're angled. So it's not flat, there's no base to put in a proper seat. I'm probably gonna need to cut these brackets out, make something custom and, you know, mount it properly, perhaps with some good welds um, and some bolts. Guys, listen up. 
Here's another issue with safety, not with this car, but in general. I see a lot of people wearing race harnesses on the street. There's a problem with race harnesses driving on the street. They are designed for the track, and there is a reason they are designed for the track. When you have a collision, your body starts to move forward. The way a manufacturer designs their harnesses is with some play, so that if you start to move in an accident, the harnesses, the, uh, the stock seat belts will actually move a little bit and they will give. And if you've seen the crash videos, and I'm sure you guys have all seen crash videos, there's a lot of movement and the dummy's head actually moves forward as well. Here's the problem with race harnesses, and it's happened on the track. Um, there's somebody that I know that died last year because of this very specific problem. When you've got race harnesses, they're strapping your whole body in, you can't move. Your body doesn't move. What's the only thing that's gonna move? Your head. And when your head moves at high speed, you snap your neck and you're dead. And unfortunately, that is what happened to somebody that I know at a track last year at Button Willow. Um, he did not have his Hans device on, which is designed to keep your neck from moving. He had full race harnesses and a race seat and crashed, hit the wall, and that was it. So he's dead. The same thing is going to happen on the street if you guys are wearing harnesses and you don't have a Hans device. It is completely unsafe to do this on the street. So do not wear full-on race harnesses in the street. You should be wearing the OEM lap belts in the car. Here's another safety issue that I see all the time. All you guys are removing your steering wheels that have airbags in them and taking them out and putting in steering wheels that have no airbag. The airbag is designed to work in concert with the OEM safety restraint systems. They are designed to work with the seat belts. So when you start moving forward and your head starts moving forward, the airbag stops your head from moving and stops your head from impacting the steering wheel. I don't know why people take them out, but they do all the time and it's really stupid. All right, so that's it for the rant video today. I thought this was going to be about taking the seat out of the car, and it was. Um, but then I uncovered some things that I thought were really disturbing and I need to address. So unfortunately for the moment, this car is down. I'm not going to be driving it. I consider it unsafe. If anybody wants these bride replica seats, too bad. I'm fucking throwing them in the trash. They are complete garbage, and I'm not going to risk anybody's life with these things. Sorry, guys. I'll catch you next week. We'll <laughs>